St Petrock's mission is to end homelessness in Cornwall. And that's not some sort of utopia, it's, it's possible. In one of the richest countries in the world that homelessness is still an issue, it's not acceptable. St Petrock's was founded as a direct response to people sleeping rough in Truro. You'll find people that have just lost their job or been made redundant, um, relationship breakdown, people that, that have, have been active in society for, for, for many years and, and then they find themselves without a home. I had my own property garden maintenance business but really the the deal breaker which put me on the streets was Covid. You couldn't go around people houses to work therefore I didn't have money coming in so basically I couldn't afford to pay my rent. So that's how I basically ended up sofa surfing and yeah that's how I ended up on the streets for two years. Just me and my dog. When I lost my job and I split up with the missus, I found myself sat on a park bench and I was thinking about life and I thought to myself, look, you've got a choice here. Start again. St Petrox is a fantastic place in those hard times just to enable yourself to have that bit of breathing space to then enable yourself to get back on your feet and hopefully try and get your life sorted. So the way vocational development kind of fits into that is that engaging people with employment and training and education. And it's just been like the missing link in the work that we do. It's just a fantastic way to support our clients in the next steps out of homelessness for good. Getting a bit reminiscent and I'm going to miss this place. But I woke up this morning and for 30 seconds I was like, well, here we go again. No, wait a minute. Here we don't go again, it's moving day. Crap, right, jump up, throw on your jeans, let's get, let's get everything on the go. What they did for me, I wouldn't be here. St Petrox is a springboard to your future. You move in practically broken with nothing. You want it, you've got to go out and get it. But being at St Petrox is putting you in the right place to get it. They aren't going to just say, Here's everything, but what they are going to say to you is, here's every opportunity you need to seize to get everything you need. It's up to you now to seize that opportunity. Vocational development and the team focus on what our resident would like to do. We set up these events to sort of help people with confidence issues, anxiety, motivation. We've been to the Seal Sanctuary learning about the seals. We've been to the National Maritime Museum. We've done the Aviation Centre, which was fantastic. It's just about trying to remove the barriers and help people to build on, you know, ideas or skills they've got or just seeds of ideas, let them grow. It's spotting those kind of like little glimmers of interest in something and drawing it out, teasing it out. It's all just about pushing people in the houses together with other people to get them out of their comfort zone and build a bit of confidence. And it works. I've already got four job offers, so... <laughs> One that springs to mind is a gentleman that came to us. We helped him with his English and maths, helped him to enrol in a welding course. They paid for the for me to go to college. I ended up doing two courses and, yeah, got, got, got my certificates. We then helped him to become self-employed. He's got his own flat and is a self-employed welder, like mobile, mobile welder. The vocational development team have been an absolute godsend. You know, I can't thank them enough. Um, and I think it's bloody amazing what St. Petrox and the VDP do. I think this is a really positive project that brings the whole community together to try and, and create opportunities and see that there is a route out of homelessness. At the moment in Cornwall, there is a real squeeze for domestic accommodation. It's been so successful that we will continue. We've had huge support from Cornish businesses. Rick Steins, um, they've been great. Eden Project are always really keen to help us. So going forward it'd be really nice to engage with more of the business community and so that it becomes 
part of their world as well. I can't imagine having to go back to a position where we, we don't offer anything like this. We want to make a lasting difference to people's lives and collectively we will succeed. St Petrox is all about people, always has been and always will be.